In today's episode, guys, we're going to be doing a reaction video in the spirit of my boy, JT Suits. So, JT, if you're watching, what up, fam? This is going to be a reaction to a couple videos from my very first deployment back in 2012 when I was stationed on board USS Kurtz, FFG 38, 38 Especial. Just to give you guys a little backstory on what we were doing. Uh, it was a six-month deployment. It was our Twilight Cruise, so it was the last cruise ever for the Kurtz before we decommed at the beginning of 2013. Our six-month deployment was in support of Operation Martillo, which is uh, Hammer in Spanish, and we were doing drug traffic interdiction. So whenever there would be boats filled with cocaine or marijuana or something like that, we would inter intercept the boats, detain the drivers and the crew on board, and we would contact local authorities for that respective country. They would come get them and the cargo and process them from there. The first video we have on deck is from an OS, a good buddy of mine, Ben. He was formerly stationed on Kurtz during that time. And it's going to be sh showcasing some fun that you can have on a U.S. Navy deployment. So before we begin, though, guys, I do have to mention... All of these videos will be muted because they do have copyrighted music. So in the interest of, you know, not being flagged, I'm going to have to mute the videos. And of course, no Navy reaction video or no military reaction video would be complete without a beverage of choice. So I got myself some coffee that I brewed myself. Didn't have to go to Starbucks, Lena. And we're just going to be taking a little sippy sip of this while we react. First one on deck is fun that you can have on a U.S. Navy deployment. That said, guys, let's begin. All right, so he's got the GoPro, just jumped off, and this is swim call, guys. So, sadly, I never got a chance to participate in swim call because I was always, like, on watch, oddly enough, whenever they do swim call. So, you can see in the background, they got the RIB, which stands for Rigid Hull Inflatable Boat. And, okay, <laughs> moving on to the next scene. So this was also in Colombia as well. And we're firing off the 50 cal there. Oh yeah. That is awesome, man. And there's a little overview of the Kurtz. Yeah, my boys. And he's leaping off uh, into there again. And this was in like a little pool area uh, at the Columbia Naval Base. So they let us do some stuff. Here's some Steel Beach picnic action going on. So like every Sunday, El Capitan, uh, Commander, now Captain Espinoza, last commander of USS Kurtz, uh, let us do, uh, Steel Beach picnics every Sunday. And they would basically close the flight deck out, open it up for food, and, you know, you'd have like cornhole, and frisbee throwing, and you have uh, friggin' LARPing even, just like jousting and stuff, so it'd be, it was pretty crazy stuff. And, uh, you know, we'd have our own little uh, rec room there, which I sadly missed when I was on the Destroyer. I'm surprised that they didn't have something like that. So here we go, there's a little thing for some un unrep, which is underway replenishment. And then here's where we scuttled a, uh, a drug boat. That was some stuff in combat, they're gonna do some boat ops. It's all like very fast, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep up. And there's LSC right there. And there's BMC boots. And there's my boys. And there's Miss Mood Wii U. And yes, we did have a barbecue on board Kurtz, which was properly maintained, of course. You know. And there's some snapshots. There's CMC, one of the chillest, great, probably the best CMC I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. Real chill guy. And then there we go. All scenes were shot in locations, South Pacific Operating Area, uh, Fourth Fleet, Mexico, Guatemala, Panama, Colombia. And so guys, the next video we have on deck is also from my OS friend, Ben, who recorded some more kind of deployment-y sort of thing. So it's, you know, a little less fun in the traditional sense, but it's more just kind of what we did in like a Navy sense. And again, this video is going to be muted just because he uses copyrighted music. So anyway, with that said, guys, here we go. Mm. I love that little splotch screen you did. Good job, Ben, if you're watching this. So. And there's South Pack. Okay, we're doing an unrep. And you see the little connector cable there. And then there's the rib. Once again, the rigid hull inflatable boats, which they use for boat ops. Um, there's VBSS, visit board search and seizure. These are the guys that are uh, boarding those drug traffic vessels 
and detaining the crew and making sure they weren't throwing cargo and stuff overboard because that's what they would typically do once they would see the rib and everybody coming on, you know, trying to come on board. They'd try to just dump a bunch of shit, you know. It's just like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. No drugs. We're just, you know, <laughs> just a regular fishing vessel. And there's the bridge. Nav doing nav things, you know, making logs, log entries and stuff. And there's some more nav things. There's Mr. Poe with El Capitan himself on lookout. I believe Mr. Poe is nav. I don't quite remember. It's been a while. And then there's CSO, Combat Systems Officer. He was my department head on board Kurtz. Real cool-ass guy, Lieutenant Long. Later made Lieutenant Commander, so real cool guy. Love him to pieces. And then there is, uh, I believe that was a... Uh, I forget which, uh, which, Se which Seahawk it was, what model. I want to say the Romeo. I'm not 100% on that. So there it is. Doing some flight quarters, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're setting up targets um, for the 50 cal. And there's GMC. I, I believe it's GMC loading it up. You ready? Yeah, there's GMC right there. Gonna, gonna light up some motherfuckers. Get them, guns. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Oh man, I wish we recorded this at night because like every fourth round is a tracer round. So, like I remember when I was doing my 50 cal quals, we would uh, and there's El Capitan laying it down, and then there's you know some CSs slicing lunch meat and uh, yeah. All right, guys. So our third and final video is going to be just kind of an overall snapshot view of what we did on deployment for those six months, the final round for USS Kurtz, and it's also going to be just an overview of the history of the USS Kurtz. So it's going to be a little bit longer. Uh, the other videos where I think we're like two to three minutes long, this one's almost clocking in at six minutes, just a couple seconds shy. So this is going to give you a history of the USS Kurtz and what it's done in its nearly 30 years, three decades in service to the US Navy fleet. Oh, and once again, video's muted because of copyright reasons, so, okay. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with it. USS Kurtz, last round, the decommissioning of 38 Special. These are the lives and times. The USS Kurtz, commissioned on October 8th, 1983. And she was commissioned by Kim Kurtz, who's the granddaughter of Admiral Kurtz, who is the namesake of the USS Kurtz. And he's a pretty badass guy, if you would check out some of his history. I looked him up on the Wikipedias earlier. And here is the commissioning ceremony back in 1983, I believe they said. And then uh, left the fleet the same way she came in the fleet, ready to fight. That was something... Uh, oh, wow, the harpoon missiles! Okay, so by the time I checked in on Kurtz, guys, these missiles were long since removed. And there's the namesake of the Kurtz, Admiral Maurice Kurtz. And the first CO, Commander James Tinsley, I believe that's the XO next to him. And the last one, Commander Fermin Espinoza, who has since made captain, and good on you, sir. Underway replenishment 2012. So yay, fun unreps in the rain. Uh, commissioning ceremony back in 83. And uh, if you guys notice, more, some more, more eagle-eyed Viewers may notice that there were some Japanese characters. I believe, I'm not 100%, but I believe that this was commissioned um, in, uh, in Japan. So here we are, operations in 4th Fleet, which is uh, central to South America. I don't know if they do uh, South Packs anymore. It was a cute dolphin. And there's Castro for Family Day Cruise, the Tiger Cruise, what they call it, MA-1, BM-1. There's a uh, now OS-1, and then... These guys, um, they both lost their lives. I believe it was in a traffic accident. This was uh, shortly before I checked on board. As you can see, they died on May 9th, shortly before I checked on board. I love this picture, man. I had this for like my cover photo uh, for Facebook for like the longest time. And there's one Miss You. Everybody's in their PT gear. So that's pretty cool, too. And then they're doing some damage control training uh, for pre-coms. This is a lot of old school shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's some old school shit, my man. Woo! Precom drills. 
some more decom crew uh, DC drills. Um, there's that. There's the harpoon missile, which we didn't have by the time I checked on board. They had long since removed it. Uh, some the first ship sponsors going aloft, fixing the uh, not the radar, but one of the antenna on top. Uh, there's uh, the armory. Everybody all armed up. And then there's the crew from 8384. And then there they are over the years. I don't recognize a lot. These are a lot of guys that came before me, so this is a long ass history. There's some docks. There's a Rex Torp, a uh, exercise torpedo. You can tell by the the banding. And there's the launching of a harpoon missile. Sorry, I'm, ju I'm just kind of going as fast as I can with this. And yes, USS Curse was even in Desert Storm alongside a friggin' battleship, dude. So they did some mine ops in Persian Gulf back in 91. So that was kind of their role. And they also uh, downed two U.S. planes, as you can see there. They took in some Iraqi uh, prisoners of war as well. And 38 Special Crew at it once again. I think there was a a volcano eruption or something that happened out there. And then big uh, coke interception. There's the, the beginning, the very first crew on board USS Kurtz. And they're just kind of going through and there's a lot of rates and stuff that aren't around anymore they got, that got absorbed and there's the last crew. You could probably find me in there somewhere. I know I'm in there. Uh, he's just such a blur, dude. There's CMCXO. And of course, El Capitan. And then there's the board. My fucking word, that's a lot of ribbons. And then there's the main gun, uh, scuttling some drug boats. So what we do is, once we seize the crew and cargo, is we would scuttle or destroy uh, the drug boats. And then there's the FCs loading up Sea Whiz, uh, closing rain, uh, closing weapon system. There's some guys doing flight quarters, I believe. DLQs, uh, and then there's the Kurtz final wardroom with all the officers, and then there's the final goat locker, CMC in front, El Capitan firing off an M9, and USS Kurtz seized $26 million worth of cocaine and marijuana during its six month deployment. And I remember, I think one of the busts we got had over like $6 million worth of coke. So it was it was a real big deal. They just and there's some thirty suspected drug traffickers, and you can see like the barrels of stuff that they have on there. And then there's us scuttling the drug trafficking vessels. So we just light them up, and it's really cool. And there's El Capitan firing with the rifle. There's fifty cal. I believe these are exercises. I'm not sure, or maybe they were just scuttling that. Then there's the FCs. There's FCC in front. Loading up Sea Whiz, and I believe those are the gunner's mates just delivering hot metal on target, baby. That's a pretty cool shot. I like that one. Oh man, I love this shot especially. This is a that is a cool shot. So yeah, guys, that was just a couple clips from my very first deployment back in 2012. Tell me what you all think. If you have some clips of your own, feel free to share them in a, like a reaction type video and keep this thing going uh, down in the comments down below in the booby -de boobs just list your video response and I'll be sure to leave a little bit of comment a little bit of a liking and some loving and all that jazz but for now guys this is the Andy-san sign up for now like I said <laughs> and as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye